right, welcome to HopkinsSports.com. Ernie LaRosa joined by Jim Margraff, head coach of the Johns Hopkins Blue Jay football team. Hopkins improves a 7-0 overall, 6-0 in the Centennial with a 54-14 victory against Gettysburg tonight. And coach, you had it clicking on all cylinders, balance on offense, over 300 yards passing, 200 yards rushing. Our offense played very well. I was, I was extremely pleased with our defense. Gettysburg's got a, you know, traditionally a great offensive football team. Our guys gave us a great start to the game. But offensively, uh, it was pretty impressive to, to put that many yards up. You always want to be balanced when you can be. Uh, but sometimes you got to be able to throw, sometimes you got to be able to pass. The fact that we, be, you know, the fact that we were able to do both efficiently tonight, it's, uh, it's encouraging heading into the next few games. Absolutely. When you get the running game going early, it really helps the passing game, obviously. And, and tonight, Ryan Carey, another 100-yard uh, rushing performance, becomes the 26th player in school history to go over 1,000 for his career. It's nice to see him get untracked early. Yeah, Ryan's been terrific so far. And, and uh, the offensive line blocked well, but, but he really does a super job of uh, finding holes and, and just a, a terrific slashing runner. So it's been um, uh, he's, he's, he's just been terrific lately. And we're, we're real pleased with his, uh, his development. Talk a little bit about uh, 34 consecutive Centennial Conference victories now. That's a, that's a league record. Um, and it's not all just about this team. This team sets the record, but that's a lot of guys doing a lot of good work over the last few years. Yeah, it's, uh, it, it does. It connects a lot of our teams together. And I just told our team about that also, where uh, I was around when, when another team set the record. And, I, and they were very, very impressive back then. Uh, and I remember thinking, I'm not sure who could break that. And, you know, Middlebury had been getting better. We were getting better. Uh, so I'm real pleased right now that our guys have, uh, have won this many games. But they know what, our focus is on the next one. So they'll enjoy this tonight, and we'll be ready for next week. Okay, we're two wins now off the bye and starting to get some other guys involved. You see a guy like Quinn Donaldson, back-to-back -back big games, almost 100 yards receiving and, and really emerging uh, here late in the season. Hey, Quinn's a great player. When you talk about being balanced, a lot of times, you know, balls are going towards Bradley Monday or some other people. And maybe Quinn doesn't get his share, but he's he's a tremendous football player and an all-conference type, uh, you know, wide receiver. So just we expect him to have those type of days, and people want to you know put their resources elsewhere. Uh, he'll hurt you, and he's he's done a great job. Talk a little bit about uh, you know what this win does moving into the last three games of the regular season. You know, set up we're only team in first, only team undefeated in the league, and, and where this positions you moving forward. You know, we just, it's cliche. We're trying to take it one game at a time. Every every weekend is a Centennial Conference Championship game for us. And there's still some teams on the horizon only have one loss. So any any trip up on our end or a game versus a one loss team later on could you know could end the season for us in some respects. So uh, our guys are very focused right now. Uh, they've done a great job of, of staying focused on the, on the task at hand. And right now they're going to get ready for a sinus next week. Okay, again, Hopkins improves the 7-0 overall, 6-0 in the Centennial with a 54-14 victory against Gettysburg. Blue Jays back in action next Saturday at our sinus. Stay tuned to HopkinsSports.com for everything Blue Jay football.